Hi, this is Daniel Hutchins, and today we're going to be talking about some Star Wars. So, we're going to be doing a Throwback Thursday video, again, on Star Wars. Okay, so Throwback Thursday, we're going to be talking about Star Wars, Han Solo saved the Rebel Hoth base before Empire Strikes Back. So, in the most recent issue of Star Wars, Leia recalls the lesser known story about Han Solo saving Echo Base from certain destruction. Okay. So, warning, there were spoilers. Okay, so Han Solo was famous for being cunning, charming, and charismatic, but he also can be pretty selfless. Despite his smuggler persona, Luckily for Han, actions can speak louder than words. In Star Wars number 12, Leia describes a situation involving Han Solo that speaks volumes about his character. General Organa shares a somber moment with Poe Dameron's father, Kess, aboard a rebel fleet. Kess is worried about his wife, who was recently stranded on an Imperial cruiser. The rebels are unsure if she is alive, Leia, stressed over the recent carbonite freeze and upon, begins to look for distractions. He asks Kess to tell her a story detailing how he met his wife, Shara Bay, afterward. Kess mentions that he's picked up hints about Leia and Han's relationship. Given how Han and Leia communicate, as well as Lando's account about the couple, their relationship is not the biggest secret in the rebellion. Well, Leia acknowledges how different she and Solo are. She attempts to tell a story that speaks of his true character. Okay, so related to the sword close Star Wars, how Darth Vader built a sinister castle in Mustafar. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about something else. Okay, so Leia tells Cass that Han hates everything about the cold. While this is never explicitly said in the movies, it can be inferred since Solo's clothing looks warmer and more protective than anyone else's clothing. Hoth is already considered to be one of the coldest planets in the galaxy, and it was about to get colder. The heaters were going out, and the rebels were forced to cram into their ships to preserve the warmth. Of course, the Millennium Falcon gets the raw end of the deal as the Tauntauns are stored on Han's ship. This scene also paints Han's rescue of Luke as a darker picture, since Han would eventually have to slice open one of these tauntauns to survive. It's then revealed that the repair crew is unable to fix the heaters even worse. Now the reactor used to power the base is about to overload and destroy it. So then Han and Chewie use this opportunity to take some action. Okay, so... Relate to this article, Star Wars Darth Vader's other son was a twisted Luke Skywalker. But we're not talking about that, we're talking about something else. Okay, so Han assures Leia before his departure that the Falcon uses a similar reactor dissipator to the one powering Echo Base. Han and Chewie head to the reactor that looks like it's ready to blow up, knowing that they need to make the room warmer. Chewbacca recommends lighting a fire from a nearby fuel barrel while the ensuing explosion knocks the heroes back. They still have a job to complete, so smoke fills the room as Solo and Chewie fumble to replace the dissipator. So Han radios over to Leia, commanding her and the rebel fleet to evacuate Hoth. Leia hesitates, acknowledging that if the rebel fleet leaves and the reactor blows, Han and Chewie would lose their lives. Leia eventually issues the evac order and hovers in space waiting for Han's word. Han radios in that it was successful and urges Leia to send the repairman back to fix the heaters. Okay. So Solo's actions contradicted his words as Star Wars has shown so many times before throughout this issue. So Han states how much he hates the cold and being on Han, but when push turns to shove, he steps into action and saves the base. One of Han's most iconic scenes in A New Hope 
also shows him contradicting himself. Throughout the entire movie, Solo repeats that he wants to save the princess, get his reward, and bounce. Yet, after his deliverance of Leia on Yavin 4, he returns to the battle against the Death Star. The Force Awakens also has a contradictory Han moment. When Han and Chewie find Rey and the gang aboard the Millennium Falcon, he initially orders Chewie to put them in a pod and drop them off at the nearest planet. Han disregards his own notion and brings Finn, Rey, and BB-8 all the way to Takadana to help set the sequel trilogy in motion. Okay, so Han Solo proves and time again that he is one of the most dishonest but selfless smugglers within the Star Wars universe. While he may not always act in the most heroic manner, Han will turn in and to overdrive to keep his friends and loved ones safe. So there you go guys, that is just a little bit of information I wanted to share from Star Wars about Han Solo saving the rebel base on Hoth. And you guys, if you like my content, please hit a thumbs up. And if you didn't, that's okay. And um, you guys make sure you subscribe and you guys have a nice day. Bye.